My name is Naomi Joy Gallagher. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on our quarantine core because I've had some requests for this. This is a, a video that you can definitely do a couple days a week and see some pretty good results in the next couple months. Uh, let me know how it goes. I'll be combining some Pilates style Lying down on your mat, bend your knees so they're right over top of the ankles and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you breathe in, fill into your back and side body. And as you exhale, gather in through your belly, lifting up through your pelvic floor. We're gonna be working here from a neutral spine, so pubic bone level with hip bones, or a flat back, whatever feels better for you. Now float your legs up to tabletop knees over hips and we begin with toe taps so hovering your toe just an inch above the ground making sure that you're not lifting up through your lower back making it more challenging we begin to straighten our leg out focus on breathing into your back and the sides of your body but keep the front low belly pulled in to stabilize your lower back Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Hands behind head. We're going to curl the shoulders up. Let's keep going with the legs. Try and lift your shoulder blades all the way up, activating through the upper core. And the elbows are gathering in slightly, so they're in your peripheral vision. Let's take one leg up to straight. We're going down and up for 10 reps. If you need to modify, you've got the other leg foot on the floor. Inhale to lower and exhale to come up. So if you need to rest your neck, your head down, know that you can at any time. Let's switch sides. And we'll switch again one more set. Keep breathing, breathe into your back, inhale down, exhale up. As you breathe out, think about pelvic floor lifting up. It's that feeling as if you're holding your bathroom muscles. Switch, last time. Now we're gonna focus on our lower core. So lower down your shoulders, cross right ankle over left ankle, and begin to curl your tailbone up. My arms are down at my sides, and your back is gonna be flat to initiate this curl, working in through your lower abs. Exhale, lift your hips up. And I want you to resist looking at the screen. Keep your chin in and you're looking up towards the, the sky or your ceiling since we're inside. Now we're gonna press our heels together, lift your upper body up, and our hips are in a turn out. So the heels stay glued together. As you exhale, straighten your legs either up to the sky or reach them out closer to the ground, more challenge. So big breath in, big breath out. Just keep breathing and try and touch your elbows to your knees. So the knees are going apart, but the heels are touching. I know it's hard to see in the video. As the legs straighten, squeeze your inner thighs. Keep breathing. Remember, it's all about the breath with your core. Now we're gonna hold elbows to knees and you're gonna do a tiny pulse for me. You got this. Each time you come up, you're breathing out through the mouth, pulling in through your belly button. Yeah, oh yeah, the burning starting. Let's go, come on, keep going. Yeah, now we're gonna do left ankle over right ankle. We've got those lower abs again. Tailbone lifts up. Chin is tucked, head is heavy on the mat, and you're pressing your arms into the earth. Breathe out each time your bum lifts up. Pull in those lower belly muscles.
great we're gonna go back here into that little clamshell so heels touch legs stretch out we curl knees to elbows if you want to be more challenged your legs are going to be lower hovering above the earth being careful you're not arching your back if your hamstrings are on the tighter side feel free to keep your knees bent the whole time now we begin to pulse last time here come on exhale exhale chin is slightly tucked squeeze those abs rest good work let's windshield wipe here our legs side to side letting go of tension and then let's take here a bridge pose opening up through the hips it's plank time so we're going to quickly now turn onto our hands coming into a wide-legged plank and we're going down down up up go slow and we're going to go right elbow left elbow right hand left hand you can always modify with your knees down your focus here is keeping your hips as level and stable still as possible squeezing not just your core but your glutes your thighs pushing your hands and forearms into the earth so you're staying with that right left and then right left Now we're gonna go left, right, left, right. The upper back is broad, you're breathing. Almost there. Now holding your forearm plank, legs are together, squeezing in. You're gonna lift one leg up behind you and you're gonna go pulse, pulse, pointing your toe. It goes one, two, switch. One, two, switch. Just like the previous plank, we're focusing on stability through the pelvic and lumbar area by squeezing your bum, your inner thighs, Pulling belly button in. Keep going here. Rest. Child's pose. Making your way back to a plank. You're gonna sweep one leg out as wide as you can, working through the side glute and through the side of your body and your obliques. Keep your hips level. And remember, you could always have one knee on the floor. Keep breathing. Focusing on maintaining level hips. Rest. Coming into here, bird dog opposite leg to arm here. So your tabletop and you're gonna be alternating, lifting uh, one leg and the opposite arm. Belly button is hugged in, hips are level and we're strengthening your back. Push the standing hand and leg into the earth to help stabilize. Keep your hip bones pointing down. Focus on length. Go slow. Now 
we go out to the side on a diagonal we hold and back to center and down you're gonna do the same on the other side so we reach out and then both leg and arm go out to the side keep your hips level good work back to center and down let's do that again one more time we lift arm and leg go on a diagonal belly button in back to center release switch reach out to the side hold back to center awesome all right let's make our way onto our belly now coming into a back extension you're going to keep your feet grounded and your arms are in this t-shape squeezing shoulder blades together pulling belly button in here so we start with the feet down you're reaching your arms wide Each time you lift, think about your shoulder blades drawing down and into the spine. And if this is feeling good, begin to lift your legs up with the upper body, strengthening your back. Chin is tucked, eyes are down and forward, and the inner thighs are hugged together, as well as the glutes. Holding here now. Rest. And we're back to abs. Lay on your back. Starting here with your knee bent, hands to the back of your head, we're going to come here into some oblique rotational work here. So elbow to knee, crossing diagonally. As you lift your knee up, your knee is right over top of the hip and you're trying to lift the upper body to reach the knee. A little more challenge, you're going to extend your leg out, straight legs, and reach across the body to the outside of your shin. Breathe out each time. Control your movement up and down. Try and touch your pinky to your leg. Now we're going to come into a little bicycle crunch here with a pulse. So we go one, two, switch, one, two, switch. I like to do a sharp little breath and switch. Now, if you need to modify, you could have your one foot on the floor, just like we did at the beginning of this set. Now we're switching it a little more challenge. We're going to do four pulses. Keep going until I say. Squeeze your inner thighs together, stay connected into your midline. Almost there. Rest. Let's give your neck a break here. So arms open into a T. You're going to be lifting your legs up, pulling belly in. And we're going to come here into lower core, lower obliques here. So you're going to be drawing a V shape with your legs. So you could either go uh, bend your knee and straighten, or you could go all the way down through center and then to the side. So you're creating the letter V with your legs. Now more advanced, you could balance on one hip, side to side. And again, to modify, you're just keeping your, your hips on the ground and you're going bend your knee and you kick to one side alternating. I know it's a little tricky to see. As your legs go down, be careful that you're not arching your back. No cheating here. You're doing great. Take a little rest. 
and we're gonna curl those shoulders up now. So hands on the outside of your legs, you're gonna reach your arms overhead and then circle your arms around and gather your, your legs back in. So you could do the single legs like me, or you could go into the double leg, you choose. Inhale down, exhale up. So the arms are doing this big circle to the ears and then around the body back to the legs. See here that I'm keeping my, my shoulders up the whole time, but you could always lower your shoulders and head down, give your neck a break. Or you could even do this movement with the shoulders down the whole time. Rest. Turning now onto our side. We're gonna come into a side crunch. So I want you to notice where my bottom arm is. My hand is directly out from my shoulder. This is important. You're gonna press down through your elbow. Make sure that your arm's not too far forward. Now bend the knees, pull your stomach in, press your bottom arm down, and you're gonna work now in through the side waist as you come up. So use your bottom forearm uh, and press down. It's gonna assist you in lifting up and then make sure that as you're coming up, you're pulling your belly button strongly into the spine to protect your back. Breathe out. Now maybe start to reach your arm out, helping you to get a little bit higher. And begin to pulse. Continue to push down through that bottom hand. You could always keep a hand uh, behind your head if you need that support for your neck. And now let's take that bottom arm underneath the ear, straighten your legs, stack your hips, and begin to exhale both legs up. Still working the obliques. Squeeze your inner thighs, your glutes, your belly is hugged in, flexed feet. Breathing out to lift. If you find that your hip is uh, sensitive here too, let's hold your balance. Holding, holding, holding belly in. If, if you find your hip is sensitive here, um, you can always put a pillow underneath your uh, hip for the side too. Coming into a plank quickly here. So we're gonna take one knee to our elbow armpit, side to side. You need to modify, you've got uh, one knee on the ground. Now do your best to touch your knee to your arm. Grip through your fingertips. Breathe out each time, still working in through the side body. Nice, now we're gonna pump it up here, so we're gonna slide the knee down to the wrist. So it goes in, down, up, switch. rest all right good work everyone let's turn and we're gonna come back to that side crunch on the opposite side let's stay facing the screen so just a reminder that the bottom arm is in line with your shoulder that is important here otherwise it's gonna be really uncomfortable for your shoulder Push down through the through your legs. Pulsing now. Push down through the bottom arm. You got this. Coming down now here, bottom arm is underneath your ear. And you're gonna lift both legs up. 
squeeze your bum, pull your belly button in, flex your feet, use your inner thighs. Your body's one straight long line here. Balancing, reach your top arm up to the sky. Keep breathing. Rest. Making our way back to plank here. Feet are gonna go wide again here about mat's width. Press your hands into the ground and start to walk your hands now together so your thumbs are touching. You're gonna do one hand goes out, it goes forward and then it goes out to the side and then you'll do it on the other side. So you reach above your mat and then to the side of the mat, alternating arms. Now the whole time, you're doing your best to keep your hips as still and stable as possible by squeezing not just your core but activating through your thighs. Grip through your fingertips. Think about pulling energy up from the earth with your hands. So now legs come together. You have the option now of reaching your arms forward to the top of your mat and holding here. Squeeze your inner thighs. You can do this. You need to drop the knees, that's okay. Just do your best. Drop your knees, take a child's pose. And we're gonna come into some more back extension work here. So lowering down onto your belly, reach your arms uh, above your head, a little wider than shoulders, and reach your legs long behind you. Opposite leg to arm lifts up, lengthening through your body to lift up, pulling belly in, squeezing inner thighs and booty. Option now to lift everything all together, arms, legs, chest. Breathing out each time you lift and squeezing at the top. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Take yourself back to child's pose. And we're gonna now transition here to seated. Sitting tall at the top of your mat, feet ground, tuck the pelvis under slightly, Pull belly in here, and with the C curve of your spine, you're gonna go down, hold, and exhale up. And I'm keeping my spine uh, slightly rounded here. More challenge, we begin to lift the legs up, going down slowly, holding at the bottom, and pulling belly in strong to lift up. So remember, you can keep your feet on the ground if you need to. You could also modify and put your hands on the backs of your thighs.
almost there. Good, now let's hold as low as we can. It might not be as low as me. You wanna feel this in your core, not your back. Keep breathing and begin to lift up. Down we go again. We're having fun. woo -wee. Coming up, down again. Coming up. Down we go. And we're gonna lower all the way down. Bring your knees to your chest. Take a bridge pose here, stretch out your hips. We're almost done. Both knees come up and we're gonna begin to curl through the upper body. So we're going exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So remember, you can always bring your feet down. I want you to pull your belly button into spine. Curl your shoulder blades all the way up. Squeeze your inner thighs. You might need to have your knees bent. Good, begin to pulse now. Keep those shoulders lifted. So remember with these pulses, it's not about pushing your head forward. You wanna press your head back into your hands. A little bit of a chin tuck here, a little plum underneath your, your chin. Take a quick break and we're gonna repeat that. Up and down. Big exhale to curl. Pulse it out. Now we're gonna reach across, little twist here, reaching to the outside of your, your shin. Squeeze your inner thigh, inner ankle together. Try and do this without your legs moving. Stay high in the upper body. Keep going. And rest. Now just the legs are going to lower down. Shoulders are down. Knees either bent or straight, more challenge. Going as low as you can without arching your back off the ground. as low as you can you're going to do a little flutter kick going down up down up so more challenge legs are straight and close to the ground less challenge legs are up and bent keep pressing your shoulders into the earth chin is tough head is heavy keep going pull belly in take a little break all right we're going to go through that again here so curling up we're going to go into those twists Inner thighs are squeezing together. Breathing out each time you twist. Pulse it on one side. Touch your little pinky up the thigh. Try and maintain that connection. Switch. Pulse it right up through center now. We're almost there. Keep your shoulders up if possible. Pulse it on one side. Switch sides. Back through center. Come on, let's go. Keep, keep it up, keep it up. We're almost there. 
Now lower your legs as low as they go. Reach your arms forward, keep breathing. You're doing great. Hold it here. We're almost done. Lift your shoulders a little higher. Maybe take your legs a little lower. Keep breathing. You're almost done. Woo! Quarantine core. We're going to be so ripped by the end of this quarantine. I hope so. Rest. Oh, amazing. Good job. Let's stretch out our abdominals. Leg on your belly, press your feet into the earth. Reach your arms forward and press your fingertips into the earth, coming into a finger stand cobra. Take one ear to shoulder, a little neck stretch. Switch sides. Release down, press your hands to your sides. Coming up to tabletop. Rounding and arching your back here through cat-cow, flexing and extending. Now circling your ribs and spine one way. And go the other way. Coming to seated, cross-legged. Drop your chin to down to the center and we'll take your one ear to shoulder to one side. And then go down through center and go the other side. Down through center, let's do that again. And down through center to the other side. down through center, come all the way up, and we'll take your twist to one side. And switching sides. Side stretch. Switching sides. below. I'm spending lots of time on my hands right now. <laughs> See you next time.